So on this one, the exponent rule still applies. Let's show that power of 2, which is 1. I almost recommend putting that 1 there because a lot of people get it confused. Or, or they may write this with by skipping it altogether. So in other words, if we were to do this problem, some people would just say that this is the same as 2, but then it still doesn't have a power with it. Okay. Uh, but don't forget that we do need to multiply that exponent of 2, which is 1, by the 4 on the outside of the parentheses. Now, on the other hand, we got this uh, x to the power of 3t. We're also going to multiply that by 4. And then in the denominator, we've got x to the power of 2t minus 1. And we're going to multiply all of that by 4 as well. Now, notice I put that expression... 2t minus 1 in parentheses, that is on purpose, okay? So, this gives us 2 to the power of 4 times x to the power of 3, 4 3 t's would give us 12 t's, all divided by x to the power of, we can distribute this 4, by the way, 8t minus 4. Now, if you stopped here, I would understand that, just... It's not complete on this, okay? Uh, 2 to the power of 4 is uh, 2, 4, 8, 16. Hopefully I got my exponent right this time. Um, oh, I'm going to take away that bar, actually. And then using the exponent rules, I've got x to the power of 12t. And since that 8t minus 4 is in the denominator, we're going to subtract that out. So I'm going to subtract... 8t minus 4. All right, well. Yeah, we can distribute that negative into the parentheses. So then we got a 12t minus 8t, which is 4t. Uh, that's going to change that to a plus 4, by the way. So we can't combine the t terms with the uh, constant terms. And this would be about as far as we can simplify that thing bit further here okay so um, let's just look at x to the power of 12t over x to the power of 8t minus 4 so what this is really saying is that here I've got x to the power I, I got 12 t's right there right so if I instead of making this multiplication I make this addition I would have well 12 t's multiplied together um, hopefully we can see the difference between pluses and t's on that. And then I've got divided by x to the power of, well, I'd have 8 t's down here. So plus t and then 8 of those. And then I would have to multiply that by x to the power of negative 1 times x to the power of negative 1. Four of those. Well, this is really x to the power of t times x to the power of t times x to the power of t because we added those together. And same with the num uh, denominator, rather. So you see how those kind of cancel out right there? And that's why we can, that's why we would subtract the AT and the minus four as well.